SpaceX launches the country's first space mission for national security. The American Aerospace Corporation SpaceX, officially known as Space Exploration Technologies Corporation, was established in 2002 and played a key role in the development of commercial spaceflight. It was the first privately owned business to launch a spacecraft, return it to Earth orbit, and dock a crewed spacecraft with the International Space Station ISS. California's Hawthorne is home to the headquarters. Entrepreneur Elon Musk founded SpaceX SpaceX to change the aerospace sector and make inexpensive space travel a reality. The corporation entered the competition with the two-stage liquid-fueled Falcon 1 rocket, which was built to launch small satellites into orbit. In comparison to its rivals, which were primarily spacecraft made by publicly owned and government-funded firms like Lockheed Martin and Boeing, the Falcon 1 was significantly less expensive to produce and run. The Merlin engine, which SpaceX designed and utilized in the rocket as less expensive substitute for the engines used by other firms contributed to the rocket's affordability. Making reusable rockets was another area of focus for SpaceX. Other launch vehicles are generally made for one-time use. The first Falcon 1 launch by SpaceX took place in March 2006, but it was aborted due to a fuel leak and fire. However, the business had already received millions of dollars in launch orders at this point, the majority of which came from the U.S. government. SpaceX won a NASA competition for funding to develop and test a spacecraft that might support the ISS after the space shuttle retired in August of that year. Following two unsuccessful Falcon 1 launches in March 2007 and August 2008, SpaceX became the first privately held business to fly a liquid-fueled rocket into orbit in September 2008. Two, one, zero. We're in stage and we're flying. Plus 12. Three months later, it was awarded a NASA contract worth more than $1 billion to maintain the ISS. SpaceX's Falcon 9, a larger craft with nine engines, was launched for the first time in 2010. Four, three, two, one. Stage one. Liftoff. We have MLS. Liftoff of the Falcon 9. The following year, the company broke ground on a launch pad for the Falcon Heavy, which it hoped would be the first to bring the $1,000 per pound to orbit barrier and eventually be used to carry astronauts into deep space. The business accomplished another significant feat in December 2010 when it became the first commercial enterprise to launch the Dragon capsule into orbit and successfully run it to Earth. On May 25, 2012, Dragon once more made history when it became the first commercial spaceship to dock with the International Space Station where it successfully delivered cargo. NASA awarded SpaceX a contract to create a spacecraft that will replace the space shuttle and carry passengers into orbit in August of that year. The first stage of the Falcon 9 was built to be reusable. Near its launch site, a Falcon 9 first stage made a successful return to Earth in 2015. Additionally, SpaceX started utilizing drone ships for rocket stage landings in 2016. In a launch in 2017, a rocket stage that had come down to Earth was successfully reused. On a voyage to the ISS in the same year, a Dragon capsule was recycled. 2018 saw the launch of the Falcon Heavy rocket's initial test mission. The third first stage, which failed to land after three attempts, impacted the ocean not far from the drone ship. Instead of launching a satellite with that Falcon Heavy, a Tesla Roadster with a mannequin strapped into the the driver's seat was launched into orbit around the sun. On April 11, 2019, Falcon Heavy launched its initial operational flight. 2019 saw the start of SpaceX's Starlink satellite launching program, which would deliver satellite internet access. On a Falcon 9 flight, about 50 Starlink satellites are launched at once. For the first generation of Starlink, more than 4,400 satellites as well as additional 7,500 satellites are planned in orbit around Earth. Earth, as of 2022, are more than 4,800 active satellites, more than 2,200 of which are part of Starlink. On May 30th, 2020, astronauts Doug Hurley and Robert Behnken embarked aboard the first crewed voyage of a Dragon capsule to the International Space Station. Additionally, SpaceX revealed the Super Heavy Starship system, which will replace the Falcon 9 and the Falcon Heavy, originally called the BFR Big Falcon Rocket, 100,000 kilograms or 200 
120,000 pounds would be able to be lifted into low Earth orbit by the super heavy first stage. The Starship, a spacecraft with multiple uses including quick travel between cities on Earth and establishing bases on the Moon and Mars would be the payload. Now, in 2023, Japanese industrialist Meizawa Yasaku and several artists were scheduled to go around the moon aboard the Starship. Later, as part of NASA's Artemis program, the Starship was to be used to launch settlers to Mars. Focusing on the first space mission, Sunday saw the launch of a SpaceX rocket carrying a U.S. military navigation satellite from Florida's Cape Canaveral, the space transportation company's first mission for the country's national security. At 8.51 a.m. local time, the Falcon 9 rocket carrying a $500 million GPS satellite made by Lockheed Martin Corporation LMT.N launched from Cape Canaveral 1351 GMT due to bad weather and technical difficulties four prior scheduled launches in the previous week including one on Saturday were postponed the successful launch represents a big triumph for Elon Musk a billionaire and his privately held rocket company which has been battling for years to get a foothold in the lucrative market for military space launches now controlled by Lockheed Martin and Boeing company in 2014, SpaceX filed a lawsuit against the United States Air Force over a military's decision to give United Launch Alliance, a joint venture between Boeing and Lockheed, a multi-billion dollar non-compete contract for 36 rocket launches. As soon as the Air Force decided to allow competition, it decided to abandon the lawsuit. SpaceX has decided to file suit uh, and protest the, uh, EL, the Air Force ELV block by. The GPS-3 satellite, which will have a 15-year lifespan, will be launched by SpaceX the following year after winning an $83 million Air Force contract. According to Lockheed spokesman Chip Eschenfelder, the satellite is the first of 32 being produced over Lockheed for the Air Force GPS-3 program under contracts totaling $12.6 billion. The launch was supposed to happen in 2014, but the Air Force says production delays have prevented it. According to Eschenfelder, the following GPS-3 satellite would launch in the middle of 2019 and satellites after that could be tested in the company's processing center in Colorado.